Hey everyone, Robert the Bruce here from Yesh Gaming. And uh, on the screen right now, you're going to see in the lower right corner my uh, controller showing you actively what I'm doing throughout the entire video. Uh, the controls will be relatively similar for Xbox 360 players as well. Obviously, I'm on the PlayStation 3 here. Um, but it's going to give you a picture in picture screen so you can see exactly what I'm doing while I'm explaining how to fly some helicopters. With that said, let's get right to it. First, we're going to take a brief look at the controls. Uh, right now, just focus on the left and right analog sticks. The left stick controls the yaw of the helicopter. In layman's terms, this means it's going to just turn it left and right without uh, affecting the angle of the helicopter. It's a safe stick to use. Moving the left stick up and down does nothing. It only turns it left and right. The right stick, on the other hand, is going to control the pitch and the roll. Uh, moving it up and down will affect the angle going forwards or backwards of the helicopter. Uh, and then rolling, uh, moving it left or right will affect how the helicopter rolls. Um, gets a little more advanced. You have to use this stick to get moving and going forward and backwards. Uh, the rolling can get kind of tricky, but we'll, we'll take baby steps and we'll get there. Uh, starting off, we're not even going to worry about weapons. We'll try to fire at things later on once we know how to get around. Now, I really recommend everyone does what I do right here and just get familiar with the most basic controls. You start doing all kinds of combinations right out of the gate, you're going to find yourself wrecking real fast. R2 takes off, like we talked about. Um, not even holding R2 down, just getting up to hover. Left and right on the left analog stick, we can see it turns us without really affecting much of the angle of the helicopter. The right stick is a much more drastic maneuver. You even see you lose some elevation there if you're not holding down R2. Uh, going forward and backward does control the pitch, like we talked about. That's going to be how we're going to actually move forwards and backwards while using the R2 to control the main rotors. L2 lowers the elevation of the helicopter if you need to land or just trying to outmaneuver someone. And then R2 raises us back up. Uh, got a teammate hopping in there trying to fire the side guns, assuming we're going to go to battle. But fortunately for him, we're not. Um, now you'll see here... Not even doing anything too crazy, but just using the right stick while I'm trying to move around doing some things. It's really easy to get out of control pretty quickly. Uh, that's why I said the right stick controlling that rolling maneuver needs to be used very sparingly starting off until you really start to get the hang of things. I uh, basically have to save it there from crashing. You start losing elevation real quick when you start rolling around with that uh, the pitch and the roll. I also recommend you start off with the support helicopters instead of the attack helicopters. They're easier to get used to and easier to handle. We're going to take another look at the basics here. Again, repetition is key if you're going to really become a good pilot with the helicopters. We'll also take an outside look at exactly what we're doing so we can see what the behavior of the helicopter looks like. Um, in relation to you being inside the cockpit. Uh, practice, practice, practice. It is the way you will become a good pilot at these. Um, and again, be careful of the roll. That's what you really gotta get accustomed to when you're first starting out, because it's real easy to crash once you start rolling left or right. We're going to get one more quick look here at the roll and how dangerous it can be. We'll switch to an outside view. We don't even really roll that much, but when we realize we're getting close to the ground and we try to correct it, it is too late. You will drastically lose altitude once you start rolling, so be careful using it too much. I want to show you this clip to just uh, bring one thing to your attention. At the bottom of the screen, we're going to zoom in on it here is a green rectangle with an indicator in the middle of it. This is in the attack helicopters, like the Apaches. What that is, is actually where your gunner is looking. Now, I don't have a gunner in this helicopter with me right now, so it's not moving any direction. But that little indicator will move around within that rectangle, and that's where your gunner is actually aiming at that moment. So when you see it way off to the right side, he's looking that way for a reason. It's a good idea to look that direction yourself, move the helicopter, help him get a better shot. Now this segment here is just to show you that you can actually get around turning with just the left analog stick. It turns pretty quickly actually. It's different than the jets. Uh, now I have to correct when you kind of get way off base a little bit with the right stick you have to correct the rolling. But the left stick 
can really turn you left and right very well, so start off doing just that. Now to complete your basic helicopter training, just get out there and do it. Uh, start with the transport helicopter, get a buddy or a teammate to hop in the side gunner, and just go practice hovering around different parts of the level. Use the left stick to turn you and the right stick to go forwards and backwards and to generally keep the helicopter level. The side gunners will take care of shooting at bad guys, you're still mildly helping the team, and you can start to get used to the way the helicopter behaves. The more comfortable you get with it, the more you can put your skills to the test, and then you can start looking for my next video. I'm already working on it. We're going to be putting out an advanced helicopter maneuvers video fairly soon, uh, covering things from circle strafing to evading enemy rockets to even capturing spawn points while still flying in the helicopter. So be looking for that. Thank you for watching. If you have any ideas for the next video, something you'd like to see, throw it in the comments or send me a message. I'll be sure to get to those. And subscribe so you'll be the first one to know when the next video is out. Thanks again.